Now we have all these settings. We've configured the NASA 32 with clean flight, updated the Tyrannus firmware. We've got all the wiring right. Now is pretty much the moment of truth where we should be able to turn Welcome on to open TX. our Tyrannus and low battery, low battery. It's going to say low battery because the NASA 32 does not send telemetry until it's on. So let's arm it and boom. There we go. I've got uh, altitude zero meters and I've got 11.5 volts on the battery, which is exactly what it says in clean flight. So this is happy days. We know that we have all the data moving to the right places. So now all we have to do is install our Lua script and we should have our beautiful telemetry page. Okay guys, so first of all I need to clarify that there are some comments on Reddit, you know, asking if I would share my scripts. I, yeah, I need to clarify that, guys. I never said that I wrote the script. I said that I got it working. So I have to give credit where credit is due. There's already an online resource at rcsettings.com where people have shared their Lua scripts and there's all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, you can see here there's, you know, uh, commands to change PIDs on the fly. There's, you know, all different kinds of telemetry scripts and, you know, like, I'm sure that it's growing more and more. Here's one that's for uh, the DJI NASA. This one as well, you can pretty easily edit to get to work with uh, any flight controller as long as it's sending telemetry back. So there's basically a whole bunch of scripts here, but then, I found another one by a guy called Richard O and this guy is sharing the script that you can see on my radio and uh, basically he's shared it on Dropbox. You can see all his files, he's got a bunch of sounds, you know, his telemetry and basically you can just download his script and run it. You can also edit it. I think it's much easier to edit an existing script than to make your own from scratch. So yeah, I'm going to give you guys the link for this as well so that you can go ahead and download it. But uh, just download the whole thing as a zip file. And now I will show you how to get this onto the Tyrannus. So here is the zip file that I've extracted. One of the key things to look at here is this file here, which is a Lua file called Telem1. Now, the way that the scripts work is you can have, I believe, up to six scripts running for one model. Now, Telem1 is going to just do one custom telemetry page. If you find uh, somebody with another telemetry page that you really like, you can rename theirs to LEM2 and put it in the same folder and you will get both of those pages. Now we need to hook up our Tyrannus to the PC and the key is in the scripts folder. Now I go into the scripts folder and you will notice here that I have a folder called F450 underscore two. Now, if you remember, my model that I'm using has the exact same file name. Now, this is important because this is how it knows what scripts to run with which model. So basically, you have to make a folder that has the same name as your model name in the Tyrannus. If we go into this folder, you can see that I've got the telemetry one file, but also what we need to do is put any bitmaps that we use into this folder. If we go back to what we downloaded, there's a bitmap folder here and you can see here is the battery meter and here is the FM logo here. Here is the RSSI. You just 
grab this BMP folder and drag it into your scripts folder on your Tyrannus SD card. Now, mine are already there, so it doesn't matter for me, but just to show you. You create the folder with the name of your model, and all you have to do is just drag that telemetry file in, and uh, you're good to go. It really is that simple. If you've done all the other stuff, then this should just work. And if you have more models, you can make more folders with more model names. You can put the same telemetry file in each model. You can play around with different ones. You know, as you can see on RC settings, there's quite a few different like weird, interesting ones. And I'm sure as the community gets into it and hopefully me making this video and posting on Reddit has made more awareness for it then hopefully there's going to be a lot more files for everybody to use. What I will just quickly show you is, now I'm going to just make a copy of this so I don't mess anything up and open this in Notepad. You can see what the syntax of the Lua scripting language looks like. You can see this is all about the battery. Here we're doing some uh, LCD drawing, uh, you know, drawing lines. Now in the, in the syntax here, a double dash is like a, a rem, like a remark. So it's going to ignore anything with a double dash in front of it. But you see here, this switch SD doesn't have a double dash. Either does the switch SF. So if you want to change the switches around, it's fairly easy to go through and find the instances where it says SF um, and change them to whatever switches you actually want. Th these are remarks as well because of the double dash. But yeah, basically to change the values is much easier than trying to you know write a script from scratch. A big shout out to the guys here who you know took the time and wrote this and shared it. Uh, that's pretty awesome. It's it's good for the whole community. So you know any of you script kiddies out there, I'll love to see what you guys come up with. Like I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, to me, this was just a nice telemetry page that I stumbled across, and then you know spent. A lot of hours trying to work out how to get it to run. So now all you guys can have it uh, and I would really like to see uh, some sharing happening of all the tweaks that get done. But let's uh, have a look at the end product. So now if we just hold down the page button, there we go. There's our added telemetry page and there's still telemetry one telemetry two and telemetry three but yeah i mean for me i don't know why i would want to use anything else uh, the only other thing is if you're using the stock switches you have to go back and set your mode switches in clean flight to match what's here but I, I think it's very simple to edit or add some switches just by editing or copy and pasting some code. So guys, I hope this little series of videos helped you out. Um, I certainly wish that I could have watched a video like this to get it all going. And I hope that I at least sort of brought attention to the community of what the power of these Lua scripts is and you know, who knows, the mind boggles of what we could actually do with them if uh, some guys with some time and some coding skills got into it. So, yep, thanks for watching. Um, I might do a couple more videos about stuff. Uh, I've always thought that the best way to learn is to teach. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. I'll catch you guys on Reddit. Bye.